Hi, everybody. This is Sherry Leopold with Outside the Box with Sherry, and I am delighted today to be accompanied by Galit Ventura Rosen, who is just a phenomenal woman and everyday woman, which you're going to hear all about. So she's an author and a speaker and so much more. So I'm excited to have you here, Galit. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Sherry. We should pre-record so they could see all the fun we're having before we go on, right? That's correct. That's exactly correct. I think this is why I'm chuckling when I come on. But anyway, you are such a delight. And we actually met through Women of Global Change. And um, it's been so awesome getting to know you through that organization. Um, but you do so many things and wear so many hats and are just a really powerful woman. Mm -hmm. And I know that um, I I'd love for you just to share about a few of the things that you're passionate about and, and what you feel like your mission is here. Absolutely. I feel like my mission is to show as many women as possible that you can be successful, make a lot of money, still have a lot of fun, just like Sherry and I are. Not take yourself so seriously and really do what you love every day. And pretty much just live your best life. I mean, for me, that has been the key to my journey is showing as many women as possible that you can live your best life. I don't want people waking up one day, looking back on their life and regretting all the things that they didn't do. That's really the key to my passion. I love that. And that is, it's probably one of the reasons why I love your heart because that comes out in everything you do. Just like, not that you didn't know that, but it really does come out. And if you spend any time with Galit, you will know that, that, that that is her passion and it's in everything she does. Now I know you're working on something um, in this time of this pandemic and everything has been so crazy. And I know you live in Las Vegas, um, but it's, and it's, fairly similar everywhere, but it's really changed a little bit of the course of business and how people are doing business. And I know that you're actually pushing into that space and you've always been really passionate about helping entrepreneurs, especially women. But I'd like for you to share a little bit about what's on your heart right now and in the way that you want to push out and help people. Absolutely. I think for those of us that have had online businesses for quite a few years, we're now watching so many solopreneurs and entrepreneurs scramble to figure out how to get their business online. And where there's a need, I typically like to step in and find a way to help in a business perspective, but make it affordable to everybody. So what Sherry's talking about is I found that people today are figuring out how to be visible in a space online that is really oversaturated. And I've been working with one of my business partners on one of my businesses. It's called Everyday Woman, just like Sherry mentioned. She put that in at the beginning. It was really great. We've been working on putting together something for the female entrepreneur selling products or services. So it could work for both and showing you all the ways to get clients. And we've been having a lot of fun, Sherry. We started this uh, Facebook group. It's called Women Helping Women Professionals and Entrepreneurs and from Everyday Women. And we'll do these videos every day, Monday through Friday. We'll teach you three ways to get more clients by face through Facebook or three ways to get more clients by an opt-in. And every day we do these three to five minute videos because there's so much to learn. And typically people get very overwhelmed with that online space. And I do love those videos because they're like little bite-sized chunks that you can go, oh, that makes sense. And you can implement just like that. I love those videos, by the way. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. We do them in the morning. We do them Monday through Friday. You can go in and revisit them because it's a lot of information. Even though there are only three ways and there's only three minute videos, those videos themselves, if you implement them, can take hours and hours of time. And I'm not sharing that to overwhelm you. I'm just sharing the idea that there's so much value there that you want to listen to the ones that you want to start on right away. Because there are so many different platforms. And one of the questions I get asked a lot, if I may share with you, is where do I start? And I say to them, start with the one that feels the most comfortable. And a lot of people, that's Facebook, which is fine because I get a lot of visibility and credibility from Facebook and a lot of clients. So I say, don't start spreading yourself thin. And it's not just about social media, it's some other platforms too. 
don't spread yourself thin because now you're lacking over here, but you're finally doing something over here. Focus on what works for you right now and then extend. And then the other question I get asked a lot is, well, which platforms do you recommend? And I recommend for most business people, LinkedIn and Facebook to start because the networking is just unbelievable on LinkedIn, but it doesn't work for everybody's businesses. If you're selling arts and crafts, I think it would work, but somebody else might say, well, why would I, what would I do on LinkedIn? And then I turn around and say, well, you could, why don't you connect with artsy stores? Why don't you sell wholesale? I've always got some kind of idea of how you can use it, but I would absolutely start with those two first. Which is awesome. So this is actually one of the reasons that I love talking to you because that's exactly how my brain fires too. It's like, throw me something as to why you couldn't and 12 things go right through my mind about what you could do and why you'd want to do it. So I love that so much. And you know, the, here's the thing, you know, sometimes you'll hear something, but when you hear it a different way, it really sinks in. And I think that's a good thing about those videos too. It's like, oh, I've thought about that. But the way you said it, you know, resonates higher. And you're like, yeah, I could do that. I could implement it. And maybe it's only one thing out of the three that you do that is a game changer for you. And I totally agree 100% on mastering one before you leap into all of them, because otherwise it's overwhelming. And then you don't really ever get anywhere in any of them. Yeah, for me, it's more about the visibility and the building relationships. So mm -hmm. one of the things that we are, the reason Angela and I, my business partner for Everyday Woman started Everyday Woman is because the number one thing as coaches that we hear is how do I get more clients? And so sometimes it's the most simplistic statement that goes ding. So I said to Angela, how do we get more clients? Well, let's show them Well, we know out of experience that the way you get more clients is you've got to be visible. So some of the things that we cover and we started this membership and we gave, we have this free video series. I'll share all that with you guys, but there's speaking opportunities out there. There's podcast opportunities out there. There's summits that you can be a part of. Those are huge for visibility. And the only thing that they should cost you is your time. Some of them charge and you have to weigh the differences. Does it make sense for me if I'm going to be speaking in front of these 300 women to pay this $199? I'm just making this up. Or does it make sense for me not to? And sometimes it does make sense. You've got to figure that out yourself. But those, and then also social media. You've got to be, I'm, I'm sorry for anybody that's listening that doesn't like it, but I don't know how else you could be visible for free. I mean, yes, you can pay for ads and yes, you can pay for but you've got all these opportunities to build a tribe that is your ideal client and build the relationship, a connection. And trust me, it's a numbers game. A hundred people see you, one might reach out. I, I don't know what the numbers are. I'm just making them up. But you've got to recognize you've got to be seen. And one of our, one of our phrases is be seen, be heard, get more clients because you really need to be seen. You really need to use your voice. And I don't just mean out loud. It could be writing, right? Sometimes we make some very powerful posts. Sometimes we have very powerful banners and memes, but they've got to see you and they've got to see you consistently because Sherry, as great as you and I are, they forget about us and they yeah. forget about what we do unless we consistently put ourselves in front of them. Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes someone will make a post and someone else will be like, oh my gosh, you have to reach out to Sherry, which is like the best thing ever. <laughs> but that's because Sherry's making sure she's consistently visible to remind that person that's telling her friend. Right. So we live in a society today where you've got the world at your fingertips. Why wouldn't you take advantage of that global place where you could get clients or sell products all over the world? Absolutely. And you know, I think part of that, maybe it goes back to mindset. I don't know. I, I try to think about it as whatever my message is that I'm trying to get out. Is it only good for one every three days because I don't want to overwhelm people? Or is my message good every day? Something that I want to share. I'm not talking about selling necessarily a product, but I, I say this because people buy you, right? Like they're buying into you. So whatever you're connected to follows right behind you. But 
the point is, you know, when you withdraw out of fear of, oh, people will think I'm this or think I'm that or whatever, then that affects your, uh, you know, ability to be seen and heard. Like you said, <laughs> you can't get to the third spot because like if Facebook's only showing four and, you know, 10 people or whatever, four and a hundred, whatever it is, 4%, they have four and a hundred. How are you ever going to get to even the one, right? I mean, it's just, you're not out there enough, right? It's that, that consistency thing. And I think it's easier for a business person, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's easier for a business person to sit down, consider what your message is, how you want to share it and, and, and share it consistent, consistently across the way, schedule how you want to get your message out for the month and then execute it without thought of, is this too much? Is this this? Just being consistent, right? With the message on the day, every day or whatever it is, is going to be far more effective in the long run than trying to think about what somebody else is going to think about it. Well, we focus, it's in our nature as humans to walk into a room and have 49 people that like us and one person not and only focus on that one person. When you let that go, and I'm gonna translate it to business. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I'm, I'm very annoying to a lot of people. But you know who those people are typically? Negative people, because I'm very positive. And I know I can get annoying because I'm very positive. But those are not my people. Those are not people that wanna work with me. Those are not people that should work with me. So it's okay. So don't focus on that. When you're putting out the material, don't focus on the people that won't like it or won't pay attention to it or it won't impact. Focus on that one person. I'm, I'm a one person girl, one person. I'm a person that if I'm going to make a difference in one person's life, I'm good today. So focus on, wait, if I put this out, this is authentic. Please start with authentic and genuine. Authentic and genuine without double thinking it. And please also try not to insult groups of people and and be political i'm sorry this is about business yes, so I'm sure it's political business it's fine but be general be switzerland be neutral right. and then put out good content and please also which is going to be surprising to the viewers be ready for the haters because they're always there and lurking in the background waiting to make people like you feel bad and you know i have one method to deal with them delete and block I delete their comment and I block them and I never have to deal with them again. And the reason I do that, if anybody's watching and listening, your nature is you want to engage. Your nature is you want to respond. That's what they want. They want to know that they impacted you, that they affected you, that you wrote something that wasn't okay. And the more you put yourself out there, be ready. They show up more. So I just go delete block. Sometimes I won't even read their messages. I'll get an Instagram message and I'll read the beginning of it and I'll be like, yeah, no, delete block, not even giving them any energy to read what they send me. And right. so a key factor to visibility is doing what Sherry said, having a schedule, having a plan, being genuine and authentic and consistent. You do that and your visibility will skyrocket. That's not just a statement, it's true. Especially if you're using all these different ways. And I don't mean platforms of social media. Use all the different ways that I mentioned. That's a key to getting more clients and getting yourself out there. And the best part is it doesn't cost you anything but time unless you choose to upgrade things. Exactly. And, and I think, you know, using... A platform, if you will, for, uh, you know, something that is, you know, to, to, it's, it's ultimately to build your brand, to build you only makes sense, right? I mean, and yes, you can pay for ads and all that stuff. But I think, you know, if you go back to what you said, you know, this is you being authentically you. Um, and, and I totally agree on the, on the hater thing. And the interesting thing is the bigger you build yourself and your relationships, sometimes people will be after that person before you ever see the comment. I mean, you can go then and delete it, or sometimes it's just, you can just leave it there. But the thing is, 
they'll they'll come to your defense and they'll they'll yeah i've seen that and it's pretty powerful you'll be busy and then someone will write something and then it will just go oh heck no and it's usually the silliest things because i mean what am i out there doing business posts success posts mindset posts but negative nellies they exist they exist they will always exist but they do not have to affect you have a choice to allow them to affect you. And I giggle and I laugh a lot. I think it's so funny sometimes that you're gonna take the time to write something negative about somebody beautiful. I choose to do the opposite. On social medias, I look for the posts in groups that have the least likes and the least comments. And I look to make sure that I comment and like, and I give them advice that they're looking for. Because those people, I want them to feel good about something that they put out there. And how better to do that than to support them in a positive way. Absolutely. So, and I, I can give a perfect example of that. I actually responded in a group. It's a very large group. And I noticed that this person asked a question and nobody responded to it. And that could be for any number of reasons, right? But it happened to be in my, in front of me. I responded and asked her if she wanted to jump on the phone. Um, we scheduled a private appointment and her and I are going to do a summit together. <laughs> all the time I, I had something similar and also a large group and she said I'm starting a nonprofit I don't even know where to start so I wrote commented below if you'd like I'm more than happy to jump on a call with you and give you some direction I don't even work in nonprofit I can't I couldn't even get hired by her so we spent 20 minutes on the call and I didn't advertise that I did it it wasn't about that it was just about sharing and giving but so many times and i've even had situations where they've hired me i just comment hey shoot me your email i'll send you a list of templates or shoot me an email and i'll send you this whatever it might be it takes me three minutes to do that of course i know my value but i also like to give and then they end up hiring me for something and i didn't even sell myself so you never know what that visibility is going to bring you but you've got to be visible i have people saying i'm not selling any products okay great what are you doing to sell your products <laughs> the, what are you doing you've got to be doing a lot because it's a numbers game so if you're in front of a hundred people you might sell one thing or you might need 500 people so look at what you're doing see where you're being visible look at your message if it's a product or service because typically if someone's selling a product they have passion for it as well in this platform and then more than anything, really focus on the fact that you've got to be consistent and be out there. Exactly. And I think, um, you know, in, in wrapping up, I think one of the things that if people haven't gotten this so far, you, you do have that servant heart that is in you. And that's totally what Outside the Box with Sherry is about, is shining a light on people who are making a difference in the world. And that is you. And I love that about you. And I love your spirit. You, oh, you know you. that. <laughs> and I, I think people are probably getting a pretty clear sense of that. So let's uh, talk about how does that work where they could get connected with you and perhaps talk to you about that be visible uh, effort that you're talking about. Sure. So the first thing I want to do is I want to offer everybody that's listening a free three video series. They're only about 15 minutes each. And it really is the basis. If you're in business or you're just starting, you want this. Because we go through, my partner Angela and I go through three videos where we're really showing you how to get your branding and your foundation up and running to where it needs to be. And if you already exist on social media, it doesn't matter. You want to revisit these things and make sure they're aligned. So you can grab that at getmoreclientsformula.com. It's free. Just jump on, grab it. You'll get an email each day for three days. And other than that, it's really just about showing you how to get more clients and be more visible. And if you're interested in learning about the membership, it's be more visible membership.com. Basically, what we wanted to do was build something that was affordable. It's only $49 a month to get so much value. There's videos sitting in there. You get a live class every month with us. You get to be part of a Facebook group and it's just like-minded women. And we're teaching you all the things I mentioned, Sherry, how to get pot, podcasts, speaking engagements, summits, um, gosh, all the social media, 
there's so much I can't even think of it. The, the, the landing page is like four pages long. So check it out, see if you like it. And then I'm across pretty much almost all social media under my full name, Galit Metro Rosen. I love it. Well, thank you so much for sharing your, your gift of your time with us and for the freebies because I'm going to go grab them because I don't have them yet. Yeah, it's really uh, good. <laughs> so I'm going to go get my freebies too. So I want to thank you so much, Galit, for your time today. You know I adore you and I respect you so much um, on so many levels, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you for having me. Sure. If you are watching and you would like to be a guest on Outside the Box with Sherry, where we shine a light on people who are outside the box thinkers and doing amazing things in the world, just send me an email at sherry at sherryleopold.com and we'll have a conversation and you might be the next person on Outside the Box with Sherry. See you next week.